Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomichev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. I am very excited this week. Psycho 8.2 finally came out with a whole suite of new features, improvements, and bug fixes. So check it out if you haven't yet. Uh, go to dev.psychcore.net, simply click the big download button in the banner, and it'll take you to the latest release. Uh, very cool improvements. Uh, I appreciate the first thing that jumped out is the uh, small but very noticeable font improvement. Uh, lots of little things, uh, but check it out, install it, play around with it, and for those of you who are already running for um, on Sitecore, previous versions, plan your upgrade. Alright, so in today's episode I'd like to talk about Sitecore Instance Manager in more detail. In one of the previous episodes I mentioned a uh, few of my favorite tools, and Sim was Sim Sitecore Instance Manager being one of them. Today I'd like to show you four of my favorite features of the sim. So first of all, let's uh, quickly review what Sitecore Instance Manager is. Sitecore Instance Manager uh, provides a lot of useful functions uh, related to installing, managing, and uninstalling Sitecore instances, um, uh, as well as maintaining Sitecore instances and troubleshooting. So how do we get that? Well, first, uh, you can get it from marketplace.sitecore.net simply scroll down all, all the way to the bottom and it is the first recommended module if you click on it and click the download button it'll actually take you uh, so, so for the latest release right so there's a link that'll take you to a separate download page on download Sitecore website once you hit launch, uh, install and launch, download it, install it just like any application. It used to be not intrusive, just an executable. Now it is an installer. So once you install it and configure it, and configuration includes simply pointing it to your SQL instance, specifying the installation folder for your site core, and uh, let's see, giving it the license file, I believe. And once you have that set, you should be able to launch it. And here it is, Sitecore Instance Manager. So at the top, you see the uh, uh, the familiar Microsoft style ribbon. And at the bottom, you have a list of Sitecore instances installed locally. Now, uh, let's jump to the list of my favorite features. So first and foremost, of course, installing and uninstalling Sitecore uh, instances. I get frequently asked about the easiest way to install Sitecore. And although the knee-jerk reaction might be to jump to the executable, my experience shows that sometimes uninstalling the executables can get pretty painful. Uh, make some days to registry and then you have to remove it from your add or remove programs and if you customize it you can just simply uninstall it so it gets very tricky. In fact I have another post on the blog showing you how to delete Sitecore um, entries in the registry manually if you ever have to. So Sim does it very cleanly, install Sitecore very easily. In fact, you can uh, download Sitecore instances by clicking the Get Sitecore button. You click Next, simply, oh, I'm already logged in, but it'll uh, prompt you for your Sitecore uh, or SDN developer login. And if you have proper access, you'll finally get to the list of Sitecore instances. Now there are a couple lists. Uh, let's see, bundle tools. That's right, so there's a separate link to download pre, uh, Sitecore 7 and uh, 6 versions and a separate one for Sitecore 8. Now perhaps a more important uh, feature of the same is the ability to easily uninstall Sitecore instances. And for a developer that's very important. Uh, as you can see I already have 1, 2, 3, 7 instances and I haven't been doing much development recently. Uh, when I do, I have multiple test ins instances running. I install, I uninstall, I break things, I corrupt things, uh, I, I do all sorts of uh, manipulations with Sitecore. So uh, being able to quickly install and uninstall Sitecore is a priority for me. So I love the installation and uninstallation feature of the sim. So the second feature is the ability to export the show config file. So many times developers um, run into issues on their machines that uh, uh, 
um, e are easily troubleshot by simply looking at their show config. And one of the first things I usually ask is to quickly send me the show config. Uh, or just simply view your own show config. And the sim allows you to do that. Simply select an instance in the list, click the show config files, and then you can view your, your uh, web config um, connection string, site core, or you can view a compiled show config XML. Okay, so that's number two. Feature number three, viewing log files. Uh, so instead of having to navigate to the file system, especially during uh, implement, uh, new feature implementations or troubleshooting site core, you very frequently have to jump to your log files to check for any errors, especially if something isn't functioning as it's supposed to. Well, sim to the rescue once again. Simply select your site core instance here, go to log files, and click the current log file. And voila. Let's see, client log. Okay, this guy is empty. Let me pull something up here that has a little bit of stuff in it. Now, there we go. Now, did you notice the coolest feature of this functionality? It actually scrolls all the way down for you, so you don't have to scroll as you would in any other editor if you were to open a file, uh, because the, the most recent entries are at the very bottom. Small thing, but man, it's useful. All right, and let's see. Finally, the fourth feature is being able to import and export entire Cypress solutions. And that is very useful at the beginning of the project. Uh, usually what happens is when we start a new project, an architect would come in and start setting up the uh, initial instance of Sitecore. So they install a clean instance of Sitecore, any of the modules, uh, create the Visual Studio solution, publish it, test it out, uh, and that is used as the base kind of Sitecore setup for all the other developers. Usually it's sort of painful to export that Sitecore solution and import it into other developers' machines. Uh, there are manual steps involved. You have to stop the IIS, copy the file system, export the databases, stop the SQL server, um, or detach the databases, uh, and then go in and manually set that all up. Um, uh, do the same for Mongo if you have to. Sim to the rescue once again. So Sim allows you to export not only the file system and the SQL databases. Check this out. So if, if, you, if I click, let's say, on the CS demo <coughs> instance, and uh, let's see. So there is a backup option here, or there is a backup in the edit tab. If I click backup, I'll click export. Now check this out. It also allows us to include MongoDB databases. Isn't that cool? Uh, now, if we're sensitive about our passwords, we can wipe those out as well. I just use simple dummy passwords locally, so I don't have to do that. If you click next, you simply specify the location, the name of the zip file, and then you can choose to exclude certain files, certain uh, uh, locations that might have dummy data that's not necessary, for instance, the temp folder or the upload folder, uh, the folders that don't include files that are needed for Sitecore to run, um, cache, um, packages, logs, diagnostics, and so forth and simply hit ex export. That creates a zip archive that you can share with the rest of the team and once your team downloads that zip file all they have to do is come to the home tab of their sim instance and click import solution and import the zip file and sim does all the magic for you and you have a sitecore instance running identical to what the original developer or the architect set up. So there you go. Uh, that's a list of four of the most useful features that I find in the sim. So first of all, installing and uninstalling Sitecore. Uh, feature number two is viewing uh, your configuration and compiled show config and easily exporting it. Uh, number three is easily viewing the log file with a scroller all the way down and uh, exporting and importing entire Sitecore solutions including databases, SQL, and Mongo. So there you go. Check it out. 
you'll love it, uh, especially if you're a developer. There is absolutely no replacement for the sim. So hopefully you liked this video. Uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com. And I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.